Story recently launched its mainnet with a bold vision to revolutionize intellectual property the same way Bitcoin changed money. The team has raised significant funding from major institutions and have been developing their ecosystem since their mainnet and token launch earlier this year. So what exactly is Story and how does it work? Story is a layer one blockchain built specifically for intellectual property. It gives you a way to register your work, whether it's a song, a character, a data set, or even a machine learning model, and turn your IP into a programmable asset. This means you can embed licensing terms, royalty splits, and usage rights directly into the asset itself. So this lets you define usage rights at the protocol level level, like how it's used, who can build on it, and how any value generated flows back to you. Now, these terms are tied to real world copyright law, so they're legally enforceable both on chain and off, which makes collaboration and remixing much easier. The team came up with this idea because of a growing issue, the rise of AI and creators worrying about their rights. Last year, she discovered her art had been scraped into an AI image data set. I had never given anyone my permission to do that. You may have heard of Beam before. They started with a focus on gaming, but have expanded way beyond that. Now Beam's building a full on ecosystem for what you might call frontier tech. DeFi, decentralized compute, and next gen dApps, they've got a sizable treasury to bring this vision to life, but they're not just tossing funding around. They're getting involved, helping teams build, making connections, and making sure the different pieces actually work together. And if you're holding the Beam token, you're not just along for the ride. You've got a say in what gets built, how resources are used, and where the network is headed next. So if you're into the idea of building the next wave with a community, not just observing from Twitter, check out their Medium page that we've linked in the description below. Many models are trained on massive amounts of online content that are taken without permission or payment. And the existing system for protecting intellectual property feels slow and maybe not built for the digital age. So the team set out to change that by rebuilding IP from the ground up with blockchain at the center. That vision brought the two co-founders together in 2022. Sung Yoon, S.Y. Lee, is a serial tech entrepreneur who previously served as global strategy officer at Kakao Entertainment. His co-founder, Jason Zhao, studied philosophy and computer science at Stanford and went on to become the youngest product manager at Google DeepMind, working on turning AI research into real world applications. They raised over 140 million across three funding rounds, all led by Andreessen Harwoods. So how does story actually work? Well, let's use a simple example. Imagine you're an artist who just created a fantasy character. You want to share it publicly, allow others to build on it, maybe even see it in comics or games but you also want to retain some control to set clear usage terms and earn royalties if your work gets reused. Story is designed to support that kind of use case. It's built across three main layers. The first is the Story Network, an EVM equivalent blockchain to handle intellectual property and its evolution. So if your character gets remixed, reused, or built into something new, the network is able to track those relationships in a structured way. The second layer is responsible for bringing your work to life on chain. This layer includes two key components, the proof of creativity protocol and the programmable IP license. When you register your character on story, the proof of creativity protocol turns it into what's called an IP asset. This asset has its own on-chain account that can hold logic using modules. For example, you can add a royalty module that automatically sends you a cut when someone uses your character commercially, or a remix module that outlines how other people are allowed to build on it. Every time your work is reused or remixed, 
The system tracks that link and applies the rules that you set. Story makes it easy for this stuff to work outside the blockchain world by tying everything to real copyright law. They use something called the programmable IP license. Basically, when you set rules for how your work can be used, you're actually applying a real legal license based on US law. You can pick something like non-commercial remix only or okay for commercial use, and those rules get attached to your work. Anyone who sees it, whether it's a person or even an AI, can see those rules. And the cool part is AI tools can actually follow and also enforce them automatically. This brings us to the application layer where people actually use the content. So say someone finds your character and wants to use it in a comic. They don't need to email you or draw up paperwork. They can simply accept the license terms directly, create a new version and publish their work, all while the system keeps track of that relationship. If their comic makes money, your royalties are paid out based on the logic already attached to the original asset. You can already see some of these features features on Stories IP Portal, which is a hub where creators can register, browse, license, and remix intellectual property directly on Story. Now beyond the portal, Story's ecosystem has been growing with several projects already live and others still in development. One notable example is Magma, a browser-based collaborative art platform with over 2 million users worldwide. Through its integration with Story, Magma will let artists register and license their work directly within the platform, and that gives the creators more control over how their art is used online. Then there's Mahojin, a remix AI layer built on top of Story that lets users instantly generate and remix AI images. The assets used in the generation process can be registered as IP on Story, and that means that the data providers can be automatically credited and compensated. And on the DeFi and IPFi side, we have projects like Story Hunt, designed to trade tokens and IP assets. Story's native token is called IP, and you can use it to pay for gas, staking to help secure the network, and participating in governance. The total supply is capped at 1 billion tokens. Out of that, 58.4% is for the community, 21.6% goes to the early backers, and 20% is set aside for the core team and contributors. When it launched, only 25% of the tokens were unlocked. The rest, including allocations to early backers and the team, will unlock over a 48-month vesting schedule. Now, Story's got a roadmap for the year, and one of the big things coming is the Story Attestation Service. It's basically a tool to verify and protect content, making sure that it's original, linking works to real identities, and flagging potential IP issues. But the bigger changes come in Q3 when the chain itself gets major upgrades. Story plans to optimize its consensus layer and IP-related operations so that it can handle them more efficiently. And with that, you're all caught up on Story, which aims to make IP trackable, programmable, and natively integrated with the internet. Now, whether we can really pull that off in the long run, we'll have to wait and see. So what do you think of this blockchain use case? Let us know in the comments below. Bye.